know this is Kathy Puffer, Hudson Valley Vertical Farm. We are deep into the summer right now and we have two beautiful Angoran goats. And one thing that's really important about Angoran goat care is keeping the backside of the goat clean because they do tend to collect a lot of poopies and other organic material around their backside. So I like to take really good care of our goats. We use a combination of Dawn dish detergent, um, Thieves, which is an essential oils based um, soap, and a couple other essential oils. I do a raindrop treatment on the goat, which is purification. That helps with um, lice, which is kind of an endemic problem for Angorans. And then I also have a betadine soap that I use on any spots where, you know, they have gotten a few bites from lice or insects or little scrapes. So that works really good. So a strategy I like to do is just put both feet of the goat into the bucket, which allows me to really get in there to do some good cleaning, uh, especially around the udders and the backside of the goat because that's usually where they seem to have you know the most problems so i get her all nice and soapied up and i'm going to rinse her down after i'm done scrubbing her up and then probably you know by next weekend or later during this week i'm going to have enough time to do a little bit more shearing on her just to keep her a little bit cooler and comfortable during the summer. We typically shear our goats twice a year, once in April and once in October, but it doesn't hurt to do a mid-season shearing as well. I'm always very careful to start like at the neck, work my way back, and I do the face last. So our goat is standing in a traditional wooden milking stand, which is perfect for holding your goat in place while you go ahead and get the scrubbing done. And you can see she's not struggling at all because this feels really good because I'm sure she's a bit on the itchy side. So like us on Facebook, Hudson Valley Vertical Farms, and also visit us at hvvf.net. Thanks.